Alright, um, we are still doing the covered hem edge using the bias tape, so a curved edge down here, and I just got back from the ironing board from um, pressing my seam allowances um, towards my bias tape, and then I uh, refolded it along that center, the center bias tape line, and then folded it back up um, into the body of, of the garment. Now what I'm doing now is I've just, uh, I've done a couple placing here, is I'm just trying to um, you know, gently, um, gently press down that that bias tape, and we're going to have a little bit of, um, I would say, excess fullness in some areas because we are um, trying to get this this curved hem, and it's pretty curved um, for your sample. So if if yours does not look perfect by any means, I would not stress about it. We just want to um, practice this technique, and um, I think especially where you see the use of bias tape. Um, along a hem finish, um, like I think that you can see, I and mean, you can use bias tape as a as a hem, um, or like a, or a facing um, along the curve of an armhole. So I think that's uh, maybe this would be more suited for for that um, in purpose. But I think this is still working out pretty well. We do just have a little bit of excess fullness here that we can control when we go to um, actually stitch this down. Now the last step of um, the last step of, of stitching this bias tape down is to actually come in with a hand sewing needle and what we're going to do is we're doing a, a vertical um, a vertical hem stitch and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come um, into the into the um, fold line of that bias tape and go ahead and make sure that my knot catches on that um, and to do a, a vertical hemming tape what you do is right opposite of where that or, or a vertical hemming stitch, right opposite of where that thread comes out, you want to grab, um, you want to grab a couple of yarns. So you want to go um, into the fabric and then back out, just right above, um, above that that tape. All right, and then oh, I think I got. Oh man, I think my thread pulled through. Let's see if my knot will hold this time. I think I was seeing that tail of the. Uh, tail on my basting stitch and it was throwing me off. Alright, so um, then what I'm going to do is right opposite of where that thread came out of the crease of the bias tape, I'm going to grab a couple yarns, uh, one to two, just on the top, and by grab a couple I mean you need to go in, into the fabric and then back out. Um, and then when you come out of the fabric you're going to slide your needle at a diagonal underneath and then grab um, and then grab the the top of the you're going to go back in sorry you're going to go back in and slide this along so you can either do you can either do a slip stitch or you can do a vertical hem the vertical hem is um, when you go down into the bot into the bottom of it um, I like to do slip stitch because I think it it looks a lot um, a little bit nicer because you just don't see as much of that stitching so I'm going to run my my needle along the fold line of that bias tape. And if you want to do the, the vertical hem stitch, like I, I can show you how it's not too difficult. Um, I'm having some troubles here with my knots, is what I see, and I think it's because of this. I'm going to see if I can pin this down and out of the way. I think it's just this um, tail of, the, of my basting that is just throwing me off, and I'm thinking that that um, it's fabric that needs to pull through, so or you know thread that needs to pull through. So let me try again for the third time. Lordy! All right, and I'm going to grab those yarns, just one to two, on the on the top side of that fold. I tell you, if I can get through a couple stitches, it'll be a miracle. All right, then I'm going to come back into the into the bias tape. And I'm going to do a slip stitch and just run my needle right along that fold for about a half an inch and then go ahead and pop it out. Maybe I have too long of a piece of thread here. That could be my problem. And then I'm going to come back out and I'm going to grab a couple yarns of that fabric, um, the body of the fabric. Just go in and out there real quick. Alright, 
and then come back in and slip that along for about a half of an inch. Pop it out. And grab a couple yarns on this side. And I don't want to bore you um, with watching me hand stitching. And if you need help with this or a different type of hand stitch that you'd like to try in class, um, you can totally do that. Or if you want to um, you know, get to this point and then uh, finish your hand stitching at home, that's totally acceptable. When you're done hand stitching, uh, what you're going to want to do is then remove this basting stitch along the bottom, do a good press, um, label your sample, and put it in your binder. So it's not too bad. Um, it does just take a little, a little time to do this hand stitching. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and remove my basting. So you guys can check this out in class and I can um, help you with making sure that we get these, um, these, this little, a little bit of excess fullness from the bias tape um, put into place when we get there. So um, this is the covered hem edge using bias tape.